Charles Albright, Charles Frederick Albright, widely recognized as the eyeball killer, was an American murderer and suspected serial killer hailing from Texas. Born on August 10, 1933, he faced conviction for the murder of one woman and was linked to the potential killings of two others in 1991. Following his conviction, he was confined to the John Montford Psychiatric Unit located in Lubbock, Texas. Unfortunately, Albright passed away on August 22, 2020. Childhood Charles Albright, hailing from Amarillo, Texas, found his beginnings in an orphanage before being welcomed into the loving care of Dell and Fred Albright. Dell, a schoolteacher by profession, proved to be both strict and overly protective, guiding him through an accelerated education that allowed him to skip two grades. Adolescence. During his teenage years, Albright received his first gun, and unfortunately, he used it to kill small animals. Surprisingly, his mother supported his macabre hobby by helping him stuff the animals as he aspired to become a taxidermist. At a mere age of 13, he already engaged in petty theft and faced legal consequences when he was arrested for aggravated assault. Despite his troubled past, at 15, he managed to graduate from high school and began his studies at North Texas University. During this time, he expressed a strong interest in pursuing a career in medicine, aspiring to become a medical doctor and surgeon. He enrolled in pre-med courses, but unfortunately did not complete them successfully. Things took a darker turn at 16 when law enforcement caught him with stolen petty cash, two handguns, and a rifle. As a result, he ended up spending a year behind bars due to his actions. Adulthood. After being released from jail, he enrolled at Arkansas State Teachers College to pursue pre-med studies. However, due to being found with stolen items, he faced expulsion from the college, though he managed to avoid prosecution for the incident. Surprisingly undeterred by his setbacks, he resorted to forging a degree in documents, presenting himself as having obtained fictitious bachelor's and master's degrees. He tied the knot with his college girlfriend, and together they had a daughter. Despite his deceptive ways, he persisted in forging checks until he was eventually caught while working as a teacher in a high school, leading to probation. In 1965, his marriage crumbled, resulting in a divorce finalized in 1974. During this period, he continued to display a pattern of theft, stealing hundreds of dollars worth of merchandise from a hardware store, which ultimately led to a two-year prison sentence. However, he was released after serving less than six months. Interestingly, despite his troubled past, he managed to gain the trust of his neighbors, forming close friendships and even being entrusted to babysit their children. In 1981, while visiting some friends, he sexually molested their 14-year-old daughter. He was prosecuted, pled guilty, and received probation. He later claimed that he was innocent but had pled guilty to avoid a hassle. In 1984, he sought a leadership position in the Boy Scouts of America but faced rejection. A year later, in Arkansas, Albright encountered a woman named Dixie, whom he invited to cohabit with him. Gradually, she started shouldering his financial burdens. Albright engaged in delivering newspapers during the early hours, seemingly as a cover to visit prostitutes without raising any suspicions from Dixie. Victims, December 13, 1990. In Oak Cliff neighborhood of Dallas on December 13, 1990, Mary Lou Pratt, aged 33, a well-known Caucasian sex worker, was tragically discovered lifeless. She was found wearing only a T-shirt and bra, having suffered a fatal gunshot wound to the back of her head from a .44 caliber gun. Additionally, she bore signs of severe beatings. The perpetrator exhibited a disturbing level of precision, removing both of her eyes before leaving the scene. February 10, 1991 on February 10, 1991, the lifeless body of Susan Beth Peterson, a 27-year-old Caucasian sex worker, was found in the same vicinity where Mary Pratt's body was discovered, just outside the Dallas city limits near the DeSoto city limits. Susan was found nearly nude and had suffered three gunshot wounds, one in the top of her head, another in her left breast, and the last one in the back of her head. Disturbingly, her eyes had been removed echoing the previous case. Investigators became aware that they were dealing with a serial offender. March 10, 1991. Tragically, on March 10, 1991, another victim, 
Shirley Williams, an African-American sex worker, was found dead near an elementary school. She was discovered in a nude state, positioned against a curb. In a chilling resemblance to the previous victims, Shirley's eyes had been removed, and she displayed facial bruises and a broken nose. The killer had shot her in the face and through the top of her head. This incident confirmed the pattern of the repeater to the investigators. Arrest and Trial Albright's arrest and the subsequent murder charges took place on March 23, 1991. His trial commenced on December 13 of the same year, where the prosecution mainly relied on circumstantial evidence. On December 18, 1991, the jury concluded their deliberations and convicted Albright solely for the murder of Shirley Williams. Throughout the trial, an expert in hair comparison testified that the hairs discovered at the scene of Williams's murder were a match to Albright's hair. However, subsequent DNA testing revealed that the hairs actually belonged to a dog. Death. In August 2020, Albright, who had been sentenced to life without parole, passed away at the West Texas Regional Medical Facility in Lubbock, Texas.